Hey everyone, Zillion here with another episode of Salt and Sanctuary. So we're on what I'm pretty sure is the final boss. I wasn't able to beat him in the last episode, but I'm determined to beat him. It might take a while, but I'm actually pretty happy about this. This is a pretty cool boss fight. Um, and this is a really cool area. Oh, oh this is so cool. The organ music and the upside down level and the lighting. And I'm dead now. Oh, there we go. I'm not dead. Everything's fine. But oh my god, this level is so amazing. I wish there was more stuff here. But this is a really cool level for like a final boss fight. And maybe this isn't the final boss. I don't know. Maybe there's something else after this. There might be. Um, I guess I'll find out. I, my one wish. On speed death awaits. God is great. Okay. Nope, no secret. Oh. My one wish is that I could get down here without fucking breaking my ankles on the way down. He's got my salt. I basically just need to avoid that one and wait for him to come closer. Oh. Because I can't really... I can't gap close fast enough to hit him after he does that. I guess I sort of out can. Oh, shit. Damn it. That was my... That right there when he does the, like... Throwing the blade up in the air is my best opportunity to hit him. Unfortunately, I needed to back off and heal when he was doing that. Oh, shit. I might be dead now. Ah, shit. Chug. Whoa. <laughs> nice try there, pal. Oh, shit. Thought he was gonna step closer. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm getting better dodging that. Ah, shit. This is gonna hurt. That doesn't hurt as much as I feel like it should, but it still hurts. Oh. Whoa. Ah, shit. How about the... Come on. Come back over here. I really don't want to fight him in the corner. Fighting him in the corner is a bad idea. Ah, damn it. I shouldn't have done that. I got greedy. Whoa! Shit. Again. Okay, well, I've gotten down a decent chunk, actually. I'm doing quite well. Whew. Sorry if I'm not talking as much as I probably should be, but since I'm concentrating really hard, this is a very difficult fight. Oh. Oh. Ah, damn it. I fucked up. Drink. Ah, damn it. Oh, ooh, 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 that was close. Nope. Oh, shit. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of water peeling. Eh. Nope. Stop it. Fortunately, I've still got these orange files that heal just about as much. Ah, shit. Unfortunately, his hits do a lot of, like, permanent damage as well. Which is kind of problematic, because I can't heal that unless I go back to a sanctuary. Shit. Ah, damn it. I was trying to get away from... Well, I'm out of, I'm out of that now. Oh, right. I... That is the one difference between this thing and the, the pike I was using before that I um, upgraded this from. Is the pike had a jumping stab as it's heavy. Whoop, what? Um. Um? What? 
Please tell me that didn't reset his health bar. Okay, good. Ow. It did kind of fuck me over, but... Okay, well, apparently, this is the one boss fight where you can get out of the arena. Ah, shit. Ah, I fucked up. Okay, so that was neat, I guess. Kind of unexpected, but there it is. I was doing well. I was doing quite well. What charm do I have on? Oh, right, I have the attack speed one. It's quite handy, actually, for the spear. Hang on, what have I got here? Uh, increased dex, increased strength, increased attack. And what is this one? Directly reduces stamina fatigue. Uh, what else can I get? Increased healing, defense to fire, effective focus usage, minimum stamina, elemental imbalances, increased rolling speed, reduces wounding effect. That's that seems handy. He's doing a lot of wounding. I think wounding effect is the the like permanent damage that I'm taking when he hits me. So I'm hoping that ring will be super useful. Oops. I wish I had something that reduced falling damage, but, you know, whatever. I guess I'll just deal with taking taking all of the hurt. See, reduced falling damage would be nice. Materials in the creature. I don't feel like they should do the... I feel like if, you, if you're losing zero salt, it just shouldn't... Nothing should happen. I mean, because there's nothing, there's nothing you can gain. Like, the end result is that you gain, like, 40 salt when you had zero. It's just kind of, it just, it comes across as kind of weird. Hello. Yeah, see, the, the, I think it was a breach pike or something, was what I was using before, it had a, the power attack was a big jumping stab, which was quite handy. Um, this one has a kind of overhead slash thing, which is also useful in its own way. For instance, against flying enemies, it can hit them much easier than the Breach Pike would have been able to. But, um, I got really used to using the Breach Pike, and so I, yeah, in that last fight you probably saw I tried to hit him with the power attack when he was pretty far away, and that doesn't actually, not actually a thing I can do. Oh, oh. ah, damn it. I tried. Ah, shit. I fucked up. Damn it. Yeah, no. I got caught in the corner there. Ah, see, one mistake. If you make it in the wrong time, can really screw you over. And unfortunately, I didn't. Still, the wounding effect ring was... Oh, hello? Please don't do that. Okay, we're fine. Goddamn. I, I really wish I knew what was actually causing the control problems. Because right now, I have this weird, like, makeshift... The, the, the cord is tied up to, like, sort of stop it from doing that regularly, but if I move it in the wrong way, then it ends up disconnecting itself. And as I said before, this can be more problematic in Salt and Sanctuary than it is in Dark Souls, because in Dark Souls, um, the game will accept input from either the Player 2 or Player 1 slot, and for some reason, sometimes the controller disconnects itself and then reconnects itself as Player 2. But the Salt and Sanctuary only accepts input from the player one slot, so I can end up being basically paralyzed if I if I move the controller the wrong way, which is kind of annoying. I think I'm just gonna yeah just jump and take the hit. Really, what I should do is drink a drink a red shard before I hop off. Just drink a red shard now. Oh, hello. Shit. Well, I'm not dead. Neither am I in a particularly good way. Come over here. What is that? Ow. Shit. Don't keep me in the corner. Alright, well, the reduced wounding effect thing is nice. Oop, shit. I think... I could probably... Ah, shit. Not, you know, get hit in the face. Ah, damn it. He has a little bit more reach than I think he does is a problem. And I need to be super careful about getting pinned in the corner, because if he does the... 
He does the um, big like shotgun blast of lasers thing, and I'm in the corner. I'm basically bummed. No, 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 stay back. See, I need him to keep doing that spell. Oh, unless he does that. Oh, shit. Oh no, I don't want him to do it in the corner there. See, the thing is, I need to be behind him to hit him when he does that. Yes! Oh man. And if he's in the corner, I obviously can't get behind him. Oh, I got a bunch of salt for that. Yay! The palace. Ooh. Yay. Alright, let's be scared of this shit, because I want to know more about that guy. Be scary. Uh, he's probably way at the end. Uh, what was it? Forgotten God, I think was his name. Wrathful Dead. Nameless God. That sounds right. Yes. Lord of this island, possesses incredible power over time and space, but is mortal, fallible, and forever cursed by insatiable greed. The candelabra he bears may indicate the thing he covets most, a candlelit spirit unattainable to Saltborn. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, uh, ooh, hello, there's a door here. I have a bunch of salt, too. Hello? It's quite dark. It's quite dark considering there's all of these candles. We are epic. Dark Souls 4 when? <laughs> I'll praise the egg for the ship. Praise the forest. For Great Devara. Head right over drop. I kinda wanna hop down there, but at the same time I wanna keep exploring and see what I find. Secret door? No secret door. And no up either. Alright. Well, I guess we'll jump down the well. What is the worst that can happen? Well, I don't know, you could lose 50,000 salt, but hey, such as like. Oh! Uh. Hello? Hey, no, that's my sword. No, I need that. Well, I don't really need it. I need my. I need my Volge. But, whatever. Uh. Ooh, this is cool. Are we underwater? Hey! Oh my god, that is amazing. Ooh. Ageless solace, clasped by death. Cursed no longer. Gasping breath. I never did find that princess I was looking for. I guess she was in another castle. Is that the end? I guess that's the end. Scott Studios. God damn it. Shh, I'm trying to watch credits. Controller, calm your tits. Art Unicorn, lead dishwasher. Patron Saint of Warm, court magician. Oh my god, this is amazing. God, this is an amazing game. This is fantastic. That f that final imagery is incredible because the whole game is kind of like washed out in gray, and then you get to the end and everything's all like bright and colorful. That's a that's incredible. Holy shit, this game is. Oh, oh I hope this come. I hope the the studio makes more games because this was. I think this is this is the first game they've made if I remember correctly, and I really hope I really hope they make more because this was absolutely incredible. God, this is probably this is probably my favorite game in a long, long time. I mean, the atmosphere and the character design, the art style, the combat, everything, everything was just incredible, like top notch. And this is this is a two-person studio when they made this game, and it's just holy shit. Like, I'm so 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 amazed at this. Like, I really I want to play more of this. I might actually just continue into New Game Plus and. Um, keep recording because oh my god this is incredible um 
Obviously, there were a couple exceptions. Witch of the Lake, I thought was kind of dumb as a boss fight. I thought it was not so well designed. And also, Dawn of the Forgotten, I was really unhappy with. Um, but again, that might just be because of the way I built my character. Made them <laughs> super well suited for those fights. But all in all, this was this was incredible. I would honestly say this is, in some ways, better than Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls is an amazing game. And I... Even Dark Souls 2, which I thought was kind of off the rails, um, you know, lost track of the, the Dark Souls magic a little bit, but this this had a lot going for it. The atmosphere was amazing. There was that one scene in the desert where, like, the music cuts out, like, the background music just kind of slowly fades away as you're walking, and all you can see is just your character, like, walking through the desert, and the stars in the background, and it's just incredible. This game is... Like, I'm, I'm gushing a lot, because, honestly, I thought I'd be spending more of this episode fighting that boss, but then I, I just, I beat him. And, oh my god, like, I'm just, I really, I really want to see more from the studio. I really hope they do more games, and I really hope, if you guys, if you guys like this, I highly recommend you buy it. It's, it's fun, it's really fucking fun to play. The, everything flows properly, um, the controls feel tight and responsive. And the combat makes you feel like a badass when you pull it off. The way enemies kind of, like... Enemies just kind of, like, explode. And none of the enemies... They don't seem to have that same... Because uh, a lot of the enemies in, like, Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1... And to some extent in Dark Souls 2, there's a lot of enemies in the area that aren't really enemies. They're, like, cannon fodder. Like, you run into them and you just kind of... Even at level 1, like, your first time playing through, you can just kind of, like, kill them casually. And in some ways that makes you feel like a badass, but this game has this thing where the enemies you meet are, for the most part, all of them are, like, threatening in some way. And then later on you kind of learn how to beat them, and it's not a matter of you just becoming extremely powerful, it's a matter of you kind of learning how to play the game properly. And so you end up in this situation where you feel like you've actually progressed and gotten better at things, and it's, it's just all around. This is incredible. I'm super happy with this game, and god, motherfucker, control, just... Hold still. Oh my god. It's amazing. Um, but yeah. I don't want to get started on New Game Plus right now. Because I don't know if I'm going to record that or if I'm just going to play it on my own. I'm definitely going to keep playing this game. Because I want to see more of it. Um, and I'm sure there's things that I missed. Um, that I want to go back for. But oh, I'm so happy with this. This is incredible. This was such a good way to spend my time playing this game. But yeah. Um, I am just stop rambling about how amazing this game is now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching me through all this, and I will see you all in the next series.